So I just tried the fish shell, and I would make a video on it if I had anything positive to say. I had a horrible experience, but there is one feature that I took away from it into Z shell. So I have a few of uh, aliases, and I'm sure you're already familiar with aliases. Let's use one, grep for example. The default behavior is not enough for me, so I make an alias. Let's grab for something with some flag. Let's search for a main apps, a function that I have. Great, we have it. Let's check history now and what appears there. Mm -hmm. Grep. So exactly what I typed. See how this isn't the entire actual command? No, it's just grep. And you're left here thinking, huh, why are there numbers here? Well, because I have an alias that I, you simply would not know about. Sure, you could look into, this, into the description of the video and see my dot files, but usually you wouldn't know that. And it also appears in history as if it's just this and nothing else. So the fish shell has this amazing alternative, which in almost all situations is better abbreviations. All the random stuff that you see here are actually abbreviations. So how does this work? Let me show this off to you. Let's GAA. Boom. What just happened? Uh, this abbreviation expanded into what I actually need. And I don't necessarily have to press a space, which I, which is what I did here since this is the full command that I want to execute, I could instead just type gay, <laughs> just type GAA, enter, boom, it still transforms into the full command. And then when we do history, it is indeed the full command that I actually intended to write. Yet, I just typed in GAA, and that's how this works. Amazing difference because when you look through you actually see the real commands that you're using Not just some made-up alias that some other person wouldn't know. I Used to always type in dot net Well, I actually had an alias for dot net that meant dot net dot exe But that doesn't matter and then new console dash n and I used to always do this. Well, now I have a different solution, dn and c. I just made it, so give me some slack, but here we go. The entire thing that I used to always manually type in. And now I just need to type in the actual value that's important here and not the full command. And once again, let's not forget that the entire correct command is still there. I can look through it, I can show it off to someone. Honestly, incredible. So how does it actually work? This abrev alias is actually a function that it de defined somewhere here. This is not code that I wrote. It is actually code that Martin Frost wrote. And I'll leave a link to this website in the description. But also you can just go to my dot files, which are also linked uh, to copying this code. It doesn't really matter. So the only thing that you need to know is you copy all of that code and call a brief alias to create an alias. And it, it works syntax wise the same way as making an alias would be. So very, very simple. And now you have aliases, but better. And you see my <laughs> wallpaper. The greatest thing about using Vim is that you can use Vim without using Vim. Same thing about fish. <laughs> the coolest thing about fish is that you can use fish without using fish. So if you enjoyed this video, press a like, type some comments. Maybe you have a question or suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!